0161 Williams on the map. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for episode number 10 of Redemption Ride, our Williams Martini Cycling career mode. Final ever episode of season 1. I made this sound more dramatic than it is. Um, but yeah, this episode is solely dedicated to the transfer market and uh, the end of the season recap that we always do. On the channel. Uh, oh, we've lost Mark Christian to the team BAI. Okay, well, that's the first news. Uh, who's the other guy that leaves? It's Stefano Aldani, who joined his Ineos. Okay. Okay. You do you. You do you. Um, we're going to start first by taking a look at the highlights of the season. I'm going to change it up for once. Simon Yates won the Giro d'Italia ahead of Primoz Roglic and Thibaut Pino. He also won both Alcina jerseys. Uh, and Lawrence de Plus was the best young rider. On the Tour de France, Garen Thomas won the uh, yellow jersey ahead of Egan Bernal and Steven Kroivak. Pino was in the Polka, Caleb Yon in green, Egan Bernal in white. And on the Vuelta, Simon Yates as well did uh, well, won the Vuelta. So that's two Vueltas for him, and that's the two Grand Tour this year. Carapace. And Valverde completed the podium. Uh, Simon Yates won the two classifications. And Egan Bernal was the best young rider. Simon Yates has had a mental year. Like, we're talking mental year. Four stages on the Giro. Four stages on the Vuelta. Ah, congrats. That was a very solid year for the 28-year-old climber from Mitchelton Scott. Moving on to the tours, Ilnur Zakarin won down under, Egan Bernal won Paris, Diego Ulissi won Tirino Adratico, that's a rare sight. Egan Bernal won in Catalonia, Kroivak won in the Basque Country, Garin Thomas won Romandie, Mikel Landa won Dauphiné, Roglic won the Tour de Suisse, Ben Swift won the Tour of Pologne, okay, and Mats Pedersen won the Big Bang Tour. Tim Wellens is world champion on the road race. Stefan Kung is the time trial champion. Uh, obviously, that was in the previous episode where we had some. Uh, well, we had a lot of issues with the the world championships. So let's hope that next year will be fixed. Lorenz de Plus is the champion of Belgium. Casper Asgren, then Marc Christophe Laporte in France. Pascal Ackermann in Germany. Charlie Quarterman in the UK. Matteo Trentin in Italy. Alejandro Valverde in Spain. And Mathieu Van der Poel in the Netherlands. Arnaud Demar won Milano San Remo ahead of Gaviria and Sagan. Cool Brady won the Ronde ahead of Degen Colin Gilbert. Wout van Aert won Parobert ahead of Nazan and Mats Wirtschmitz. Julian Lafilippe won Il Bastoniège ahead of Pisa Seri and Ivan Souza. And Julian Lafilippe won Il Lombardia ahead of Thibaut Pinot and Sam Oman. Some weird podiums. Tuns won the Bing Bong Classic. Laporte won Grand Velgem. Dario Cataldo won the Amstel. Bau Kemal won La Flèche Wallonne. Yoni Zagiri won San Sebastian. Ronnevegen won Hamburg. Arkman won Bretagne Classic. Alaphilippe won in Quebec. And Wilco Calderman won in Montreal. Okay. That was for the Grand Tours. Let's take a look at the transfers. And we'll finish with the rankings. Alright, let's see if there's any big, big move. I'm seeing one already. Maximilian Schachmann signing with Group MFDG. Okay. Peter Sagan going to UAE. Oh, big L for Bora losing uh, Schachmann and Peter Sagan. Gaviria signing with Astana. Miguel Angel Lopez going to FDJ. Okay, go uh, on. going to Astana. Jakob Fusson going to EF. Oliver Nazen to FDJ. Jeez, okay, FDJ. Alright, let's take a look at the teams. So, Ajadza replaced Nazen with Van Mark. You know, actually, I'm, do I take a look at the entire world tour or do I not? Because technically, I'm not a world tour team. That was a very weird way of saying team, by the way. Who is you? Decent stats. Okay. Alpecin. Uh, oh, Alpecin got promoted. Okay. Uh, they've lost team earlier. Astana, they've signed. Gaviria, Camponarts, Elia Viviani, team Merlier. They've lost Fulsang, Lopez, Izeguere. They've lost their entire focus in Mountain. Bahrain, uh, they, they didn't, well, they did in Astana. They've lost again their focus in Mountain. They've lost Landa, Peyo Bilbao, Damino Caruso, and Rope Pools. And they've sent Betiol, Terpstra, and Izagiri. That is really, really weird. Bora. Bora with an L. Losing Sharman and Sagan, replacing them with Michael Woods and Alexander Christoph. Definitely not. A good move from uh, the German team. 
CCC, they have lost no one in their signing Luke Vesgetsch. Uh, Lucas Hamilton arrives in De Kunang, but to be fair, that, that team is already good enough, they don't need to strengthen it. FDJ, FDJ, wow. FDJ, or FDJ. They've lost Madwas and they've signed Sharman, Lopez, and, Ma and Nazen. No, no, they're good. They're becoming a beast team as well. It's five start of the nation. They've lost no one and they've signed Van Poppel, Amadro, and McLeay. Nothing changes in the Lodo Soudal. Eddie Dunbar joins Mitch and Scott. Uh, he just comes in to replace Lucas Hamilton. Going to the Canuck. Okay. Some young riders as well. No, only one. Movie star not strengthening their team for some reason. Um, yeah. Don't really know what they're doing. Arkea Samzik, which is the other promoted side. Uh, they've lost some B-Tech riders and they've signed B-Tech old riders. Uh, good signing there of Clément Champoussin. And uh, Valentin Parépant. I don't know if he's a real cyclist. I'm going to guess so because he, uh, he was riding for Chambéry. So I'm guessing that's the brother of Aurélien. The team Ineos, they've lost Dunbar, Van Barle, Castroviero, uh, Amado and Ben Swift. Signed Anthony Turgis and some B-Tech guys, including Stefano Aldani. Interesting. Very interesting. And Leo Hayther. George Bennett leaves Jumbo Vesma and he's replaced by White Pulse. Okay. Michael Matthews leaves Sunweb. Uh, Mikel Landa joins Sunweb with Jasper Philipson and Dylan Van Barle. They've lost Matthews, Benoit, Omen. Okay, interesting window from, uh, from Sunweb. Nothing happened in Trek. UAE, they've lost Gaviria, Christoph, Phillips, and McNulty. They've signed Sagan, Laporte, Bonifazio, and Caruso. Okay, yeah. It's not bad. I mean, having Peter Sagan is a definite is a definite win. Uh, and that's there we saw it. Now, let's take a look at Continental. Air New Zealand is replacing Gazprom. Okay, nothing happened for them. They just signed Jay McCarthy. Uh, Alpecin, you're not there anymore. Androni, nothing happened. BNB, nothing happened. Nothing happened in Bardiane. Bingol, nothing happened. Burgos, nothing happened. Carol, got Julius Jones, the uh, time trial guy that did well in the World Championships. Okay. I mean, you couldn't see it, but I'm pretty sure in one of in the many. Um, pre-runs I did, uh, he was doing well. So that's, that's a good thing for Carol. Uh, also getting Matthias Norsgaard from uh, from Movistar. Getting a lot of focus on the time trial, actually. We're like, four time trialists. Circus, they've lost Von Purple and they've replaced him with Valentin Madras. That's a very interesting signing. But that's a good that's a good um, continental pro signing. Uh, Alex Kersh, Jens Kukula, no, okay, some decent window. They've lost De Vrindt, Leuk Vliegen, they still have Zandro Marissa. No, I think they could be happy with that. Euskatel, nothing happened. Nipo, they've lost Schrode Gonsalves, Ricardo Minali and some B-Tech guys, and they've signed Peyo Bilbao, François Bidard, Alexandre Genies. Uh, okay, definitely an improvement from last year's side. Also the fact that they still have Biniam Gamay for at least another year, is very, very good for them. Rally, nothing happened. Rival, they lost a lot. Sport Vlanderen, they got Todd van der Zander, but that's about it. Arkea Samzik, they're not there anymore. Novo Nordisk, they're shit. How is Novo Nordisk not down? Okay, they are. Direct Energy, oh. They've lost Terpstra, Bonifazio, Turgis, and they replaced him by Mikael Schirel and Dios Van Amden. <laughs> yeah, Kadar Senel. Uno X, there, shit. Vinny Zabu, ooh, hell are you? Okay, they've signed a German guy, 19 years old, with decent stats overall. Your, your usual German region in that game. Uh, Alright. Visconti retiring as well. Quite sad. Uh, I swear I missed a team. Uh, where, what, what did Kofidis do then? Ah, there we go. Kofidis. So they've lost Viviani, Laporte, and Consoni, and they've signed Michael Matthews. So Michael Matthews goes in the second division. Solid. 
Solid, solid. Anything weird happening in Continental? I'm just gonna storm through these. Uh, I'm just making sure if there's any like good rider arriving in a. Cameron Meyer joining ARA Pro Racing Sunshine. Joe Rodriguez going to Atum General uh, Tavira. Tomiel Teslax are going to Beat Cycling. Okay. Really uh, downhill his career now from now on. Really, really gone downhill. Jonas Vingegaard going to BHS B uh, PL Beton Born Hall. Okay. Ineos signing Toft Martin Pedersen or something. Why? Why? He's 35. Enrico Barbin finding a new contract in Black Spoke Cycling. Louis Askey, some of you wanted me to sign him. He's joined Kenyan DHB powered by Sorin. Um, I'll see his progression. I'll see his progression. I know a lot of you wanted a lot of you wanted me to get him, but a lot of you, I mean one person wanted me to get him. Um, we'll, we'll see how he performs in the upcoming years. He signed two years on the, um, on the Canyon, so we'll see. Next year as well, Maximian Stedman is available. That's that's something I need to, to keep in mind. CC development team doing what they do best, signing young Polish riders. Uh, this one's got good ta good stats, all right. Uh, that's decent. I finally had like uh, the double nationality of like Britain or Italy. That'd be great. Marco Brenner joins the development team of C Team Sunweb. Okay, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. Silvio Herklot as well. Okay. And Equipo Continental Super Giros getting an all-rounder from San Marino. Well, that's quite rare. It's not something you see often. At least not in this game. Okay. I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. And to replace uh, Jiang Ying Liu, Heng Ziang Cycling signed Stanislav Timko. Good start for the 19-year-old. Uh, and for them, it's a shame that Zhang Jinlu joined Team Ukiyo. Uh, but he was a good good rider. Team Arizon as well, joining uh, the uh, the Chinese establishment. José González joining the Team Felbemer. Okay, replacing Ricardo Zoder, I'm guessing, who goes to W52 Porto. Uh, just want to make sure Lukas Wisniewski has joined the Team Co-op. We're nearing the end, I think, of uh, the transfer window, just still storming through. Omar Freyle joining the Team Medellin with Jan Barca. Okay. As Medellin makes the move to Continental Pro. Medellin moved up the ranks mainly thanks to, uh, to Omar Freyle. Okay. Uh, also good signings from the Team Sapura with the likes of Sam uh, Simon Sinok, or Simon Sinok, sorry. Uh, and some decent all-rounders, the likes of Robin Carpenter, Michael Stora. Or uh, Gaspar Katrashnik losing Ahmed Hogan to Kararora, however. And W52 Porto is going to make the move up as well, signing the likes of Yannick Steimler, Ricardo Figueiredo, sorry, Frederico Figueiredo, Ricardo Zödel, Jose Fernandez, Boy Van Papel, uh, and a young Russian guy, uh, Devlos Ho Rodriguez, Devlos Amaro Antunes, who goes back to CCC. Interesting. I didn't know loan deals were, th were a thing in, in cycling. Right, that there was a one-year offer without an option to buy, uh, and he's now back in CCC. That's just interesting. But W52 makes the move as well to Continental Pro, so that's at least two teams I've seen making a move. I hope I'm the third one, and in, I am indeed. I am indeed uh, leaving Stefano Aldani and Mark Christian behind. Um, but we've signed Greg Walters. Alec Smith Canizales, Alessandro Covey, Lenny Ryder, and Hans Yulebo, uh, who, as I said, will have a double nationality or dual nationality in the next season. Don't you worry about that. He's trying to get his visa, but with the Brexit, it is quite tough for the, the upcoming British rider. Uh, okay, but we go to Continental Pro, that's good. Also, a team that did well with a weird signing, Work Service uh, Dinatech. They're like an Italian only team, right? I mean, they used to be that, basically. They've signed Tron Tronson from Norway, Nathaniel Tesfatsion from uh, Eritrea, Aruya from Rwanda, Van der Heiden from the Netherlands, Bange Jarvis from Zimbabwe. 
a guy from the Netherlands, a guy from Russia, and another guy from Norway. That's such an unlogical transfer window. Ah, right, transfer window is finished, which is great. We're going to take a look at the new divisions. Uh, in World Tour, we have some new teams. Alpes and Phoenix and Arca Samsek made a move up in World Tour, meaning that I believe Kofidis and NTT have gone down. We weren't far off from direct promotion in World Tour, you know. We were four positions off, but it would have been a very tough year had we gone straight up. Uh, but we are going to Continental Pro alongside W52, the team Medellin, and the team Felbemer with the, the signing of, um, uh, what's his name? Jose Gonçalves, there we go. Uh, okay, 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 decent. Who's going down then? Uh, going down, Rally Cycling, Bardiane, Rival, and I believe Noe Nordisk. Yeah. Garen Thomas won the World Tour classification ahead of Simon Yates and Egan Bernal. We obviously can't be in it, however, we should be first of Continental. No, we're not. Team Merle ahead of Bonifazio and Andra Vendrame. We still come in the top uh, three. Ethan Hater will come in seventh place. Thomas Pitcock in 15th. Nice. Super Prestige was won by Simon Yates ahead of Garen Thomas and Cibo Pino. Congratulations uh, to you, sir. Was, was I any close? <laughs> Not 37th. Victories. Nasser Buene with 23 dubs ahead of the 22 of Nicolo Bonifazio. Okay, it looks like these two have dominated the continental pro scene in France. Ahmed Oken in, with 21, then Caleb Ewan, Vendrame 15, Ethan 8 12, Thomas Pitcock with 9. We uh, love to see it. What does that mean team-wise? That means that we came home tied with Ineos for first place with the wins. I'll happily take that. Uh, Ineos won the World Tour, Alpesin won Continental, uh, we won then Super Prestige, hey Ona. World, obviously the UK won the World Tour because they've won two out of, they've won all three Grand Tours again I think. Italy won Continental, Super Prestige was the UK and Victories was Italy with 166 wins. I mean I guess yeah, when you got Bonifazio with 22, Vendrame with 15, that kind of helps. Uh, but still that's a lot. That's a lot of wins. What did my development team do? Apart from absolutely nothing. Did they just send this guy? Or was he already here? I don't know, but he's got 5 trade potential. We might be looking to sign him next year. Colin Dolliscat. That is definitely a radar. I might be interested in for, uh, for next season. Uh, should we lose the Canadian uh, partnership we have with Alec? We'll see how well he does. Let's take a look at the team. Uh, progressions and trainers and shit. Oh, Vendram is not happy with Nicolas Latifi. Hold up, let me change that. What do you want, uh, Andrea? You want groundbreaking? You're gonna get Giga Kubica. And Velasco, you're gonna get Giga Kubica as well. There we go. It's all about making people happy here. Uh, and all of you, you'll get Giga Kubica as well, I think. Okay, I'll have to, uh, to change the... Uh, I'll make George Russell a um, a groundbreaking guy as well. We'll change that in um, the remainder of the save. Uh, but Giga Kubica, you can go in time trial, by the way, Hans. Uh, Lenny Ryder, you're gonna go with Kubica. Actually, wait, no, 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 what am I doing? No, what am I doing? I need to put you with George Russell. Uh, let me just check. Who signed this year? Alessandro Covey. You'll be Baruda. George Russell. Uh, Ryder, George Russell, Alex Smith, George Russell, am I missing anyone? Greg Waiters, or Walters, sorry. Time trial, George Russell, solid. Uh, let's take a look at the progressions. With some gigantic progressions, both from Nicola Conchi and Alessandro Fanceiu. Ben Tullet as well, doing very well to, uh, to progress. Congratulations to them three. Sprints wise, Ethan Hayter and Batistella with a very nice uh, jump as well, stats wise, which uh, you love to see. Time trial, Charlie Quarterman has 71 now. Get in there, son. That's what I wanted to see. In Hills, Pitcock and Velasco reached 75. It's promising for next season. It really is promising for next season. I'm quite curious to see how things will plan out. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it for season one of Williams. Cycling, Williams Martini, Redemption White Season 1 is 
well and truly over. We're now going to take a little break before season two arrives, potentially two, three weeks. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed the first season uh, of, of Redemption Ride. I, on my end, genuinely loved it. It was really, really good fun. Um, and I'm quite curious to see what's going to happen in Continental now. Or in Continental Pro. Uh, we're going to move up in the scene. And yeah. That, that should be quite fun. But if you want to follow Season 2 of Redemption Ride, and please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. Also, uh, I don't know when this comes out. It might come out on Sunday. If it does, which I think it should, you have... A few hours left to go on my Twitter and retweet the giveaway for either a Pro Cycle Manager game or a Tour de France game. I should make the result later today, uh, that day being Sunday. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to participate and take part in uh, a chance of getting a, a free game, then go ahead, retweet. You just have to follow me on Twitter and retweet the tweet. And uh, I should make the draw later in the evening. But my name has been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to the guys. Stay safe, have a great day, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.